If you're having a hard time acquiring more customers and the season isn't going as well as you planned, or maybe you have a lot of customers already and just want another addition to the existing set of tools that you already got, then you need to watch this video. In this one, my buddy Matt is talking about cold calling, specific strategies that he uses, and how by utilizing these strategies allows him to get more customers, which helps him make more money. Let's get to the video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm bringing you along with me to look at a parking lot striping job that I went to go and do with my friend Matt. He called me up, asked me if I wanted to go and film him on the job while he is striping this project. It's not a big project at all. It's a handicap symbol and I think 11 lines total. Uh, and we were here for less than an hour, okay? It took us longer to drive here and set up the machine than it did to stripe it. And I'm hearing a lot of people complaining and saying that they are not able to get customers, nobody's saying yes, and how Matt got this job and how much he made is very important for this video. Driving around, locating properties, writing the properties down, and getting in contact with the owner. And if you guys are interested in learning how I utilize strategies to bypass the gatekeeper, get in direct contact with the decision maker, be sure to check out the How to Stripe course. It will be the first link in the pinned comment section and the description so you can get in touch with more people, get more jobs, make more money. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to Matt, I'm gonna ask him some questions and we're gonna see how he was able to get this job and how much he charged for it. Wait, we're just gonna get, you're not gonna have me say hi or anything? <laughs> uh, so I was out and about town um, and I was making it a, my, my mission that day to, to find properties that needed work done. And every time I saw one, I would pull over, I would write down how many lines they need and all the ADA stuff, access aisles, arrows, what have you, uh, property address. And then when I got home, my mission was to figure out who to get in touch with at that property. Um, and I had the numbers ready to go if they wanted to hear them. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so that's what you do with this job, right? Essentially, you just drove around town, you noticed that this property was in need of your service, uh, obviously, the property owner liked you enough to be able to give you the job. Can you speak to some of that? Was it a difficult process getting them to accept it since it was a cold outreach? Yeah, this one was surprisingly easy. The person that answered the phone when I called was the person who's making the decision. So um, oftentimes I call and I ask, you know, I, I notice your lines are looking a little worn. Uh, I'm looking to get in touch with whoever's in charge of managing the property. I was wondering if you could help me out with that. Uh, and it just so happened this was that decision maker. So it was a very streamlined process. Interesting, yeah. Well, good, good. And how much did you charge the customer for this job? How long did it take? This one was a pretty small job, so I charged my minimum of $500. Uh, total time running the machine was about seven minutes. So you would say that it took us longer to drive from your house, setting up the machine, and then driving back than it would be to make this money. Absolutely. In all yeah. total, so you made 500 bucks in I less than an I hour. spent more time taking before and after photos than I spent actually painting. Interesting. See, what's, what is inspiring to me about someone like you is, is you moved here, you're in a new state, and instead of just sitting around and essentially doing what most people do who start their business is, that's what I'm hearing a lot is they're complaining that there's no work, there's uh, not a lot of opportunities, and yet here you are, you move to a new place, you immediately get to the grind, you get in your car or you get on your motorcycle, you drive around the city, you write down addresses. I mean, what strategies can you share in your approach to acquire little jobs like this? You know, to me, that's one of the more fun things about starting a business is, is seeing what you can do from scratch. Because, you know, I, I came from the Denver area, I had regular clients that were bringing in work, uh, moved here, and didn't, didn't have that same sort of clientele basis. So I got to start all over and it's, it's a blast to know that I can do it twice. Right, right, and the fact that you can do it twice just furthermore develops the proof of concept. Absolutely. And so that's what I like about it, right? If you're, you're driving around, you're already driving around anyways, and so carry a notepad with you, just like you did. You've got your notepad right there. I bring this with me everywhere. Right, so you, you went around the other day. How many properties did you look at? How many properties did you quote and how many were accepted? I found nine properties that day that needed, needed paint bad. Um, of those nine, I reached out to all of them. I left messages with some people. Uh, I got in touch with two of them and sent quotes out and one of those quotes was approved. 
So you essentially have a 50% conversion rate on a cold call approach. Uh, of, of the quotes that I sent out, yeah. Which statistically is phenomenal. I mean, and it's, it's especially if you replicate that process where you're going, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 jobs with a 50%, man, my goodness. If you're looking to level up and cash in on some big ticket customers, then consider checking out the How to Stripe marketing pack, where people like Garrett that got $18,000 worth of work off of what he learned from the training said, it's all good, bro, no worries. I've already made 18K this off season in the past month from using your marketing videos. I'm more than satisfied. Or like John that made 15K from the training, he said, I've landed over $15,000 on two jobs in less than a week using the marketing technique you teach in your online course. I'm waiting to hear back from four more potential customers who got bids. I can't believe it. By far the cheapest, easiest, and best results I've got from advertising for my company. Thanks for making the course available. Or like Jamie that landed a $34,000 school district. He said, I'm so happy. Just got confirmed I landed a $36,000 school job. I'm so happy. Seven schools in total starting sometime next week. And right now we're doing a discount for the marketing pack. So if you send me a text message or an email letting me know that you've seen this video and want access to the marketing pack, we can get it to you. That way you can start leveling up and landing bigger customers. All right, let's get back to the video. With a 50% close ratio on a cold call outreach is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, it really speaks to uh, your dedication and your ability to be able to sell the job, which is very, very important. Let me ask you this. What would be your advice to someone who essentially sits around and complains that they can't find work? Because this is something that we hear all the time. Guys are saying, I've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and I can't find any work. You drove around town, the second property you call gets you this job, makes you 500 bucks. What would be your response to people that say that they can't find work and they're thinking about quitting? Statistically speaking, Statistically speaking, cold outreach is a pretty low percentage game. And so you gotta do a lot of it if you want it to be your bread and butter. My advice to those, those people that say they can't find work is you, you gotta keep looking. You're eventually gonna find it. If you get in touch with, a, a lot of times if you find somebody who owns one property, chances are they know people that own properties or they own multiple properties themselves. And so you gotta build that reputation with them. You build those relationships. Um, I'm working with a guy who has a construction company and he's brought me multiple jobs at this point and you know it's I, I've brought him jobs because I don't do the concrete work myself but he does great concrete work so it's a mutually beneficial relationship perfect and perfect. you just got to build those up to to kind of get the the snowball effect going amazing so you would say stay active keep going keep grinding it out keep looking for jobs keep calling people keep writing properties down and essentially uh, establishing relationships and leveraging those relationships into further connections to get you more jobs, make you more money, and do bigger things in the future, Matt. The, the only way you're gonna fail is if you give up. Yeah, the only way you're gonna fail is if you're gonna give up. Wonderful response, Matt. Thanks for coming on the channel. If you wanna be successful, you gotta surround yourself with successful people. And one of the best ways to do that is get the striping course from Chris the Striping Guy and get in that Discord because there are people in that group making it every single day every single day from scratch. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.